microphone and their angle and all that kind of stuff? Okay. Thank you. Hey, Lisa. You're saying low back. Don't worry about it. You think you're yeah. Yeah. Kind of closer. So everyone ready? Mm-hmm. Shut up. Well, good morning. Welcome. My name is Demi Fleck. I'm the executive director of George Rex Life. Uh, whether you're representing the media today, or you're another pro-life organization, or you are just someone who simply uh, is uh, believing in the sanctity of human life, we are glad that you are here today. This is a critical time in Georgia. Hollywood, and more specifically Netflix, and among other film industry giants is using intimidation in order to force Georgians to trade innocent human lives for money. Outside forces who don't share pro-life values are threatening to damage our state's economy because they don't respect the personhood of preborn babies. When I talk about personhood, I mean a person's right to have rights which should happen at the time of conception for each and every innocent human being. We are here today to stand up to this intimidation so that Georgia does not lose its identity as a pro-life state that values life and we end up like New York, which has legalized infanticide. As a state affiliate of the National Organization Personhood Alliance, Georgia Right to Life believes that human life should be protected from earliest beginning through natural death. No exceptions and no compromise. This is the only way for Georgia to avoid becoming like New York. We've joined the effort by Personhood Alliance in telling Netflix to back off and keep its Hollywood anti-life values out of Georgia. Pro-life supporters are asked to sign a petition to Netflix CEO Reed Hastings. Further, they are asked to cancel their Netflix subscription and encourage family and friends to do the same. This is a representation of the more than 18,000 signatures and petitions that have been emailed to CEO Hastings so far. Thank you again. And now I'd like to introduce Carolyn Garcia, who is a pro-life advocate working in legislative efforts locally and nationally. Good morning, and thank you very much for being here. I want to stand here also in support of this protest against Netflix and the Hollywood elites. Uh, we have offered and opened our doors to Hollywood and the stars that come out of Hollywood in New York. We have made a home for them here. They have gotten tax breaks from us. We've been more than accommodating for them to come into our state. However, there is a point that you draw the line, and that is when you value money over life. I've been a strong pro-life advocate most of my adult life. And my purpose is to stand for life and believe that life far outweighs money. We welcome them if they want to stay. And I think it's ironic that during the time that legislation was going on at our state capitol, where were they then to bring their subject up? But yet now, after the fact, they are trying to uh, tell us how to run our state. Georgia has pro-life values. It has conservative values. We don't want Hollywood's values taking control. And I would like to use it as an example of you have house guests that will come into your home. You invite those house guests. You provide food, you provide shelter, you provide entertainment for them. Uh, you might even take them to a place and, and offer for them to buy their own food. And you pay for uh, them to get their food and you pay for it. They're coming into your home, and you're, you're accommodating them, and you're being a good hostess. However, they 
they start taking the advantage of telling you how to raise your children, how to discipline your children, what you should watch and what you shouldn't watch on your TV or listen to on your radio, uh, how sh you should look at issues. Well, that's a house guest that is usurping their authority and their right, and they're really overstepping their bounds. And uh, in my case, I would say that it was time for that house guest to go. Now, we welcome anyone in our state, but they don't have to come in and try to force their values on us. I am more than happy to stand with the other people in this organization today and representing other uh, groups that are here to say that Netflix, you're welcome, but do not try to tell us how to be a state, do not tell us how to run our business, do not tell us what to think, and do not tell us that we should take money and value money over any child's life, born or unborn. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. And now we'll hear from Suzanne Guy, a pro-life speaker and advocate. Good morning, and thank you everybody so much for being here today. We are here to very kindly but very boldly say that Netflix does not represent our Georgia values. We will never, and let me say this again, we will never exchange babies' lives for money. Our most vulnerable community is the pre-born children. They need our protection. And let me say again, we will never exchange their lives for money. Netflix is not representing our Georgia values. And when I think about the economic premise that they are using to try to attack our great state of Georgia, it makes me think of a very dark time in our United States history when the economy was the motivation for the dehumanization of an entire people group. I'm referring to slavery. I think you all know that. We will never minimize human life. Every human being is made in the image of Almighty God. And we are a state that protects those lives, and we will never let money be a motivating factor. I think our governor made that very clear, that money will never be a motivating factor. We will protect these children's lives, and we will not exchange their lives and their value for the sake of money. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here today. Thank you, Suzanne. And now we'll hear from Lisa Babbage with Women in Action. Good morning. I am so thankful to be here today to remind consumers and citizens that there is a reason why Netflix has targeted Georgia. I want you to consider that abortion is illegal in many countries where this organization films. Yet they have come after Georgia for a specific reason, and money is a trail that should be followed in this instance. It's important for us to understand that the value of a life, just like the value of a bald eagle egg, cannot be monetized. In this state, we stand for life. And we do so because it is the utmost freedom given to us by Almighty God. Beyond that, our Constitution supports life amongst all things. In our nation's history, as you've just heard, there has been an economic imbalance when it comes to the value of life. But here in Georgia, we stand for that balance being leveled because in no way will we ever put a dollar bill above a human heart. We thank you so much for being here today. We welcome all industries. We are number one in the nation, but we will not kowtow to the dollar because we only bow knee to God. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. So now we will open up for any questions, and you can uh, present your questions to anyone who has spoken. 